Tim Brown, the assembly manager here at RFK Racing. And basically my role here is to coordinate suspension, engine install, engine delivery, engine schedule for all the race cars and all that. So it's a, it's a pretty big role and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, so here at RFK, we have, we're engineer based, right? So we use what we call as a best practice for everything that we do in my group. So everything that gets bolted on the car, everything that gets assembled to go on the car has a best practice that's specified from our engineering staff and my employees and everyone here at RFK that works on that particular part follows that best practice. That's to ensure that that quality is instilled in every build that we put in process here. And it's all the way down to what assembly lube you'll use, what torque spec you'll use for every nut and bolt, the bolt size, the bolt length. It's all spelled out for you, uh, really simple. Just follow this best practice and you're good to go. We do have mistakes here, like we're human, right? So we'll have a build sheet, you know, the race engineers and the crew chiefs will send me a build sheet and that's how we're supposed to build a car. So I'll have a guy to make a mistake and put the wrong brake pads in a car for a given event and it may make it to the surface plate and then the teams find it and then they've got to take the calipers off, change the pads and put the calipers back on, put the right pads in it. That happens from time to time. But we do have processes in place to uh, to catch things like that, like checklists and things for, as, as my guys put cars together, they have to sign off that they, hey, they did this part and initial it and date it so we know if there is something that's wrong, who we hold accountable. And if we go all season and don't have an issue, then you know that you can go and say, hey man, you, you did this for every race this year and we didn't have a single issue and we appreciate you and you're doing a great job. NASCAR just came out with all these updates to make the car safer for the drivers with all the injuries that we're seeing in this car. So that affects the assembly because every race car that we have put together has to come apart completely, completely disassembled and go back through this process of getting all the updates done. And then it has to get rebuilt. To do that mid-season, it's, it affects everyone that works here in some way, shape, or form. And it really puts my group behind because we're the group that has to tear the cars apart and get the work done and then put the cars back together. So right now, is, uh, it's a tough time for the season. And at the end of the day, all this work that we're doing right now is worth it. To keep Brad and Chris safe, is, it means everything. And not just Brad and Chris, but all the drivers out there that put the show on for us and, and, and give us a place to work and a, and a sport that we love to, to do. So here at RFK Racing, we're proud to be affiliated with Fastenal because we use Fastenal products every day. And we use Fastenal products every minute of every day here. So we have these cool vending machines that my guys can go to and just punch a number in and it'll spit them out a drill bit or a sanding disc or a rotor brooch or whatever tool may be in that particular machine that we need. But if you look around, we have all these Fastenal bolt bins. And as my guys are building race cars or anybody that works here is building a race car, or building any kind of component for the race car, you just run over with a Fastenal bin and grab whatever hardware you need. You don't have to go run to the parts store or go to the parts room and say, hey, I need this hardware wear kit or whatever. You just go right to the Fastenal bin, they hook us up with that and it makes our job absolutely amazing here. So the efficiency to get the work done, Fastenal is on key for us.